to another tutorial by CTA Step-by-Step. Step. In this tutorial, I will show you four different methods to have your character walk through a door. These four methods I call Disappear, Move Behind, Fade Away, and Hide Behind. The names I have picked for each of these methods aptly describe the methodology used to make the character walk through the door. First we'll look at an example of each one, and then we'll go into how each one is done. The first method, disappear, is shown here as Eddie walks up to the door and disappears. The second method, move behind, shows Eddie here walking up to the door and disappears by moving behind the object. Fade away has Eddie walking up to the door and fading away. In hide behind, we have Eddie walk to the door and as he walks through the door he hides behind another object. Now that you've seen an example of each, I'm sure you've figured out how most of them are being done, but we'll walk through each one of them anyway. The first one we'll start with is Disappear. Here I have Eddie set up to walk across the grass and by the door. This is a setup I'll use for all four demonstrations of walking through a door. There he is just beyond the door. Now for this first and the easiest method called Disappear, we'll move Eddie forward until he's just in the door. We'll make sure that his foot is not beyond the door, so his toes right up next to the door there. And at that point, what we want to do is just make him disappear by clicking the Show Hide button, and he's gone. Now we can rewind. We can play that. And as he walks through, he disappears inside. And that is the simplest way to have a character walk through a door. The second method, Move Behind, has the exact same end result as the first one, Disappear. The difference between using the Show Hide and this one is that instead of making them invisible, what we're going to do is move them behind another object, which that object will then hide him. Now here we are, we have Eddie at the door, we're right where we want him. He's at minus 10 on the z-axis, so if we move him back a couple, he's now behind this wall. Now the other thing we have to do and keep in mind is he, we can either have him stop right there, or since I have him keep walking, you can see he'll come back out again, so we have to go down to the last point and move him behind in the z-axis here also. We'll rewind and play, and Eddie walks forward and to the door and what happened there is that we need to put a key point right before we make him move behind and at that key point we want him to still be seen so we'll move him back up front like so and all will be well. He'll walk forward he's still at the same minus 10 he goes to minus 12 and stays at minus 12 and that's how you move behind to make him disappear. In this next method, Fade Away, it's going to be something very similar to the first one, except instead of making him disappear completely, what we're going to do is, right as the last of his toe is right at the edge there, what we're going to do is make him slowly fade away. We're going to need to look at the opacity track at this point, and at this point right here, we want to have him completely invisible or transparent. Now, the other thing we want to do is move back, and at some point we want to have him fully opaque so that he will fade away like that, like he's going inside. We'll run that through, and Eddie walks up to the door. He'll start to disappear and fade inside. Now, the thing I don't like about this particular method is that while he's turning transparent you get to see other parts of his body. You can see the left arm which isn't normally seen, you can see the neck which isn't normally seen. So you can get all these other objects in there that you don't normally see as he starts to get transparent. So that's the only drawback of this particular method. This next method, hide behind, is a little more complex, but provides a much better result. What I have done is I have taken a copy of the screen of this area around here and uh, 
pulled it in as a prop and here it is. Now what I want to do is go take this to the prop editor and here I have the image and what I want to do is mask out parts of it. What I want to do is mask out all the parts before Eddie gets there or as Eddie, as he, Eddie gets to it. So we'll mask that all out up to about the center line there and we can take out all this here. Most of this will be hidden anyway. And come across like that. Okay, and we need to take out all this door because Eddie doesn't disappear until he gets to the edge of the door here. And this doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but it should be really close. We'll clean that up in a moment. So let's zoom in here some and take the eraser. This supposed to be the eraser. Ah, there we go. And we'll make this as smooth as possible at the edge of the door. Okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. In fact, since Eddie's head only goes so far, we can take off some of the top of this if we want. Not that we have to, but just in case there's anything else back there, uh, you might want to get that out of the way. Let's see here. Here we go. Let's make this a little bigger again. And when Eddie walks through, he stops right about there, so we can really cut it off somewhere around there, I think. And that's all we're going to need for that part. Okay, we'll do that. We'll update that back onto the stage. There it is. Now what we have to do is let's look at the house. The house is at minus 11. Eddie's at minus 10, so what we're going to do is put this at minus 9. So that Eddie will basically walk in between the two. So now what we have to do is take this over here and size it accordingly until it fits right in where we need it. Now we can see up there that we're not quite in the right spot yet. Make it a little bit smaller. Oh. Oh, make it a little larger. Just a touch smaller. Make sure the bottom is down there. And there we have it. Okay, now you can't really tell it's there. And now what happens is we'll make Eddie walk forward. And what happens is as Eddie gets to the door, instead of disappearing or moving behind, he'll walk right into the house. Now that is the coolest looking walking through a door. With a little bit more work, it can make it look so much more realistic. So that concludes our tutorial on walking through a door. I've shown you four different methods. Three of them are very easy to do. Two of them with good results. The fadeaway uh, remains to be seen. And of course, with the best results, the hide behind method. Well, that's it. Till next time, you can see more of my tutorials on the YouTube channel, CTA Step by Step. And I can also be reached by email at CTA Step by Step at gmail.com.